Marcus Giolito on the hill. Last time out, he was aggressive, had very good stuff. On for 16th start, five wins at this point is pretty good. He'd love to get that ERA down a bit. But as you can see, he's had some control issues, but none really in evidence the last couple times out. The two most dangerous hitters in this lineup coming up, and it is ball four. Tapper Giolito hustles off the mound and guns it to first. Nicely done to get rid of Rosario. Grossman to second. One down for Escobar. Right side, Jose Abreu collects it, and Giolito finds the bag for out number two. Grossman to third. That's downstairs. Second walk of the inning for Giolito. 3-1. Way upstairs, ball four. In the air. Left side of the infield, Anderson for out number three. There's strike three, two down. And over the baseball. Strike three, Odorizzi for the one, two, three, first inning. No score after one. Shattered bat, Yolmer Sanchez is on the case to pounce for out number one. Nice play by Yolmer. He was drawn in, trying to take away the bunt, so he came straight across, which is a good thing to do. If this one gets to Anderson, they're not going to throw him out. But Yolmer, right there from his knee, and it's got him in plenty of time. High fastball. That's the book on Odorizzi, and he's got three straight strikeouts. Breaking ball arches in for strike three. Another long hold. Tim runs, pitches, called strike three, and the throw to second is not in time. Called strike three. Adam says, really? Go to Rizzi today. It's strike three. Then mine. Moncada stays on the right side of second. No contact. A slider away, and Dozier strikes out. On the ground, Odorizzi to Dozier. And that's a Twins double play. to first and off of Rayu's glove. Into foul territory, Avi spins it back in. And it's two bases for Rosario. You have to imagine it will be a double. Yeah, that was a rocket down the line and unfortunately Jose could not get to it. It's a hook. Didn't drop down quite as Lucas would have wanted it, but he took that no hitter a long way. Jose is very close to the line, but this ball is just hit so hard that it goes off the glove. Well, in the backyard, they say that if it hit the glove, should be an error. Now that'd be a tough error to charge. Be really tough. Yep, that's a base hit. With an eye to history, however. He was under 100 pitches when the sequence started. Kevin Smith. Tiring out Odorizzi. Three and two. Bases loaded, two down. In the air, right field. Motter for out number three. Kevin Smith worked him hard, and at bat that needed an intermission, sends us to the seventh scoreless. Ball's hit well, right field, and gone. It's the left-handed power bat for the Twins, Logan Morrison, that gives Minnesota the lead. That looked like a knee-high fastball, which is the last place you want to throw to Morrison. That's where he's got big power. Ninth home run of the year, 28th driven in, and that ball just above the knee and way, way back. Fourth drive of the game is that. Exactly in the sweet spot for Morrison. 
Two balls, two strikes. Cave at third, Kepler at second, Wilson at first. Avilan. Second base, Moncada by himself, double play. Three, two. Check swing, ball down low, he went, strike three. Trevor Hildenberger, who throws from the side and does it very effectively. Went up with the fastball at 93. Jace Fry has been just outstanding out of the bullpen as ERA dips below two. Jace Fry is not messing around. Fernando Rodney comes into this one to try to nail one down. 3 2. Good strike three. Left hand side. Rosario won't get there. Sanchez. 1-1. One, one. And Anderson gets hit. So two on now. Two balls, two strikes. Runners go and take their bases. Second and third. 3-2. Outside ball four. 3-0. Up high ball four. We're tied. Bowman a strike to Kepler. A bloop. That's down. Soria's payoff. Up the middle, the shift is on. Anderson throws to first. Save! Abreu was off the bag. They're the same. <laughs> and, and they are going to put him at first. One, two. Struck him out! Soria cuts down Dozier. But Edison Reed is. Maybe for the sixth loss of the year. In 11. Avi lines it to left. That is a sunny start to this 10th inning. Called strike three. Top of the 11th, new pitcher in the ballgame. It is Xavier Cedeno. 3-2. Big chopper over the mound. Anderson can't do anything with it. Called strike three upstairs. A new pitcher in the ball game, and it is Taylor Rogers. In one day. To right field for Tim Anderson, who has three straight multi-hit games. Tim runs, there's strike three, throw to second. Save! He stole second base. Adrianza says no. They talk it over, and that may be decided by New York. Ricky talked with Jerry Davis, and we'll see if... We'll see if this is reversed or not. He's out. 12th inning it is. With the game on the bases, we've got a new pitcher in the game. It is Alan Buznitz. And a center field base hit. He struck him out. Two and two. In the air, well hit, left center field. Tilson can't get there to make the catch. So Morrison at second base, a long way to go for Charlie. He choice after two pitches, the second of which was right down the middle. Three and two, runners go. Three, two. Ball four. Twins lead. Three and two. He struck him out. Bloop. Middle infield, that gets down, but not enough time. The Twins, in a wild game, win the finale 2-1 to one in 13. This one had just about everything you'd want except for a win at the end as Minnesota does it the quiet way with a walk, 